Welcome back, e-bikers. So we're shooting this video today in a little studio I had set up down at the e-bike store. So that way I can be down working at the store and working on videos, shooting content at the same time. That should help with getting more content up on this channel. So we're gonna kinda just have to see today how the sound and the lighting and all of that stuff works out, see if we need to make some changes. So forgive me if there's a little bit of an echo or anything that you're hearing on this video. We'll try to get that improved in the next couple of videos. But anyways guys, today we're gonna be doing something for my e-bikers out in Idaho as we're gonna take a look at the e-bike laws and let everybody know where they can and can't ride e-bikes in the state. So hang tight guys, it is the e-bike laws for the state of Idaho today on Green Motion. All right, guys, I'd always heard that Idaho was a great state for bikers in general. A lot of great trails, especially around the Boise area. So let's go ahead and dig into those e-bike laws and see if it is an equally great state for e-bikers. So Idaho does actually seem to have some pretty liberal e-bike laws, which is fantastic. They've gone with the federal regulation of the three classifications of e-bikes. Class one e-bikes are those that are power assisted up to 20 miles an hour as long as the rider is engaged pedaling. Those must have two or three wheels and of course have pedals at work. A class two e-bike are those which will assist the rider up to 20 miles an hour as long as he is actively pedaling in pedal assist and have the option of the throttle which will allow the rider to go up to that 20 mile an hour limit with just a throttle, not pedaling at all. So that is fantastic. And then they do have the class three e-bikes legal as well. Those are subject to more restrictions and things, but a class three e-bike is an e-bike that will propel the rider up to 28 miles an hour as long as the rider is actively engaged pedaling. There is no throttle allowed on a class three e-bike. Now, e-bikes are basically subject to the exact same rules and regulations as regular bicycles. You are required to ride as far as you can to the right-hand side of the road, unless obstructions or right-turn only lanes, things like that, get in the way. Then, of course, you can own the lane and get into the lane. You are also required to use bike lanes when they are attached to the right-hand side of any roadway. Now, an e-bike rider, just like with a regular bike rider, can use your e-bike on the sidewalks as long as you are actively pedaling and not using the throttle. Another great law, which we have just adapted here in Washington State that Idaho has, is what is called the stop as yield, which means when you come up to a stop sign on a bike or an e-bike and you can look both directions and see nobody's coming, you can actually glide right through that and use that stop sign as a yield sign. You don't have to come to a complete stop and lose all of your momentum. And then Idaho actually has one law that goes even a step further than what we have in Washington State, which is that when you come up to a red light, you are required to come to a complete stop. But once you've stopped and looked both directions, if nobody is coming, a bicyclist is allowed to cruise through the intersection right through that red light, which is fantastic. That is called a red light as stop sign. So you can treat that red light the way you would treat a stop sign, come to a complete stop. If it's clear, you can continue going. So I really do like those e-bike laws in Idaho. I think they are fantastic for riders. Now, as far as trail riding goes, where you're riding not on paved surfaces, but out in federal or state lands and riding on bike trails or hiking trails, those are subject to more regulations. You do need to check with your local forestry service or places like that to find out if specific trails are allowing e-bikes or not. But I do have a list of trails here that e-bikes are allowed on. These are all fantastic rides. Some of you guys from Idaho might be familiar with them. But places like the Greenhorn Gulch, 
which is the Sawtooth National Forest in Sun Valley, Idaho. That is a 22.6 mile ride. E-bikes are definitely allowed on that trail. Big casino, little casino loop. Makes me think maybe that's on an Indian reservation. But that is in Stanley, Idaho. It's a 20.1 mile ride. You are welcome to ride your e-bikes there as well as the Continental Divide to Three Mile Ridge. That is located in Salmon, Idaho and it is a 17.5 mile ride. You are also allowed to ride your e-bike on Independent Creek Tour, which is in Pinehurst, Idaho, and it is a 20 mile ride. So a ton of fantastic trail rides you can do in Idaho. Honestly, I'm thinking about doing a trip over there just to hit some of these great trails and bring my e-bike with me, of course. And a couple others for your references, Grandmother Mountain Loop Trail in Clarkia, Idaho, an 18.1 mile ride. You can take your e-bike there. We also have the Peace Creek Summit in Cascade, Idaho, a 15 mile ride. Welcome to bring your e-bikes and route of Hiawatha Scenic Mountain Bike Trail. You can also ride there. So all right guys, I would have to give Idaho's e-bike laws two resounding fists up the full Caligula because they just have some fantastic, very lenient e-bike laws. I'm hoping Washington will actually adopt a couple of these laws like the allow you to use the um, stoplight as a stop sign where you can come to a stop and roll through. That would be fantastic. But all right, guys, if you are interested in finding out any other state's e-bike laws, please put the request down in the comment section of this video. I will also link you to a link of all the bicycle laws for Idaho. So if you wanted to get something more specific or maybe feel like you missed a couple of things in this video, you can use the link right down in the description and check out those laws for yourself. But all right, guys, that is going to do it for me today. If you enjoyed yourself at any time during this video or if you found it useful, please give us that big thumbs up. They are greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Ring that little bell so you get all the notifications when the videos go up. And shoot me a comment. Let me know how your e-biking day is going. And I will catch you guys right back here with the next one. Peace. I am out.